Ladies and gentlemen, konnichiwa and welcome back. It's been a little while since we last did a stream, uh, did a stream, did a video. I've been streaming a little bit lately, so my brain is in stream mode. Of course, my name is Guy, aka the Carbon Gentleman, and welcome back to either one very long video or multiple videos that are back to back in release, because I will get these out this month. I promise that from this video. So today, the first item we're going to be looking at is the Kamen Rider Revise DX Demons Driver or Demons Driver as is the correct pronunciation I just I fucking around with the pronunciation for some bizarre reason this is a premium Bandai exclusive and we're probably going to get another one of these coming out very soon with the introduction of Veil in the series so he he has a repainted version of this and another vice stamp, that's the name of it. I forgot about it on my last recording of this. <laughs> so yeah, there's a gonna be a red version of this. Hopefully it's gonna be cheaper because I don't think it's actually gonna be doing as much as this one does, but we shall see. So instead of looking at the box, because the box is literally just demon's face and colours and stuff and all that type of stuff, let's bring in the demon's driver itself which is here and you can see myself so this is by far one of my favorite be uh, favorite belts of the series mainly because it is so unique in terms of what it does uh, here at the top we have a slot here in the nice molded black plastic for the vice stamps that we use this is a uh, pad it's a little button that you use to stamp things down on and on the front here this is an led screen with lots and lots of lights seriously the amount of lights in this is ridiculous it has uh it's programmed for almost every for every buy stamp up to uh, specials basically so anything like the uh, Buddy Dunex vice stamp, the Volcano vice stamp, the Rolling uh, Rolling vice stamp, that sort of thing, all have the same register. Everything else is uh, the, it basically knows the coding for it, which we'll have a look at some of them in this video. On the sides, these beautiful things here, the nice red cables. You can actually push this in. You can squeeze. I do like the squeeze mechanic. It's quite nice. On the back, turn around. Well, I just hit the microphone. I do apologize. Uh, nice molded black plastic. Uh, surprisingly, this is the first time I think I've ever seen this. The speakers are here. So when you've actually got the belt on, it's already muffled, which is kind of nice. And the battery goes in here. And here's the power switch at the bottom. Again, just all that nice black plastic. And there we go. So if we turn it, turn it rather than turn it on, you can see the LED screen at work. Again, very cool. Demons driver. So let's put that there. And let's bring in the stamp that goes with the vice stamp. Is the spider vest stamp again really cool again, again black reds main uh, color focus bottom the spider so we press the top spider. spider again really really cool I do love that so what we're actually going to do before we use it in this, I'm going to bring in the revised driver and show you how what what sound it makes. We bring in the revised driver. Make sure it's turned on. Revised driver. So. Like that. Yeah. 
there we are so and once the light dies down you can actually see the nice spider design there that's very cool okay so bringing back in the demons driver let's do a henshin let's do the the actual henshin which is really really cool so in order to do the henshin we obviously press the button and then we bring it down we slide it carefully and then push down hard so good and then like this Again, make no apologies. <laughs> I've just realized how like shiny that part is. So that is the actual normal henchin. If you use a different vice stamp, for example, if we bring out the I've got the Rex one here. This is what you get instead. So, nothing really special there in terms of uh, in terms of things. So, yeah. Now to do attacks, now there are different ways to do attacks. One, you can more or less push the beat. Well, you stamp this plate. And squeeze. Which is a basic attack there. Now you can do what's uh, called the ge uh, genomics. Genom uh, genomics, I believe is the pronunciation in the show. And to do that, you push the sides. Then bring a stamp down. And then stamp. Genomics. That's it. So yeah, and you can do you can do up to three, uh, which is interesting because in the show they're talking about the the perfect genomics form is four. So maybe it's a very specific type. So if we do it one more time, we're gonna add the kujaku. That's a hint for whatever for what we're going to be looking at next. And then if we do this, there we are. So you can stamp again up to three uh, different vice stamps during the add phase, and that will actually do a longer attack there is a there is talk of the upgrade form being over demons there i say talk it's been confirmed and it's looking to use the red version the va uh, veil version of this uh the uh, i think it's like the horned beetle is the uh the vice stamp that we're going to be using so we have to get the veil driver in order to do over demons form which much like things in saber people are complaining about and you know sadly so yeah that is the demons driver i will cut to a henshin i can actually do the uh we do a proper henshin standing up with a belt on and all that fun stuff so we'll cut to that and then we'll jump over to the next video. So let's go. Time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Demon's Driver Henshin. Hey! 
変身Let's do an attack. Welcome back to the Libya Driver this time. So this is uh, the second of the th five things I want to show off in this video. Uh, this again is another premium Bandai exclusive. And unlike the Demon's Driver, this has probably one of the best jingles of the series. In terms of belts, there's other items that have really good jingles. But in terms of belts, best jingle out there. And because the box is kind of a thick boy, he's a thick boy, I'm going to remove the box. So apologies if you see anything under the, the, <laughs> under the monitor here. I have 10 here and that's all of that. So this is the Libya driver. And I'm really worried that like the camera's ever so slightly like not quite right. Even though it should be. You know what I mean? There we go. So apologies. So this uses the mirror technique that uh the last belt I saw with this type of design was the Beyond Driver from Kamen Rider ZO. So, which is really nice. It's been a while since we actually saw this. And this has, this part here actually flips open only when you turn this part, which is very, very cool. So to turn this part, you just do that. As you can see, whatever's here can be seen here. Hi. It's a good thing there's nothing there. So yeah, you can't actually close that when it's like that. So you have to turn it back around like that, and then close. Okay, and you can see. Apologies. There we go. As you can see, uh, you got the scanner here, which is the slot. This actually is. Uh, I wouldn't say magnetized, but you have to be very careful with push, making sure it's fully set, the vice stamp. Otherwise, it will fly out when you uh, do the engine. Obviously, down here is the speaker. Blue and orange, very nice, very a very good contrast to it. And weirdly, this is like the first time I've ever seen a belt like this. Because normally, a belt would be like straight, like flat. So you have the this and it goes flat like that but this one is actually curved so the belt goes like this very interesting very very interesting so yeah love the design very reminiscent of the revised driver speaking of which let's bring in the revised driver because we will require it so you can see very same pattern on the uh on the sides so this comes with two vice stamps the cobra and the kujaku again we saw the kujaku in the demons one so i love the design of the cobra one the cobra vice stamp is so nice nice blues nice like oranges um, designed very very nice cobra, cobra. We'll do a henshin in this, and then we'll do a henshin in this. But we're going to do both these in the revised driver first. So, uh, the main form, of course, uses this, but you can do power-ups by adding other, by using other vice stamps. So, we stamp.
get love the sound of that one. So that's the Cobra. Let's reset it. And let's bring in the Kujaku. That peacock. I am glad most of these actually work with the revise driver. So it shows how much planning they've more or less done with like, I know it's more or less in the device to have all the sounds because there's very little technology in the revise driver itself. But it is nice to see. So let's, let's do a henshin with the Jin the regime why do i keep calling it the gene driver the libya driver so we set it much like the demons driver we set it here and then we turn Again, mm, so good, so good, really, really nice. Sorry, yeah, it was a very nice uh, engine jingle, and there is two versions of the attack, uh, which we'll do in a minute. But when it's in this mode, if you push whatever the stamp is that you're using. As long as you push the button, you actually get voice lines from uh, Jean's demon love chant. She's adorable as all hell. So yeah, that is the uh, extent of her voice lines. Now, if we bring it up. What you get? Really cool. Really, really cool. And if we do it again. And then touch the top button. Sorry, I have to like, like, I always like have to dance a little bit to that, and that's why I was quiet. I apologize. So, yeah, that is really cool. I do love the jingles for it. It is, again, my best, my favorite jing uh, belt for jingles this series. So, now, if we bring in the Kujaku. Set it. If we can set the damn thing. Set it correctly, guy. It's always a bit of a kick. There we go. Yeah, so how we do that is we press the button at, when we set it. And instead of just turning it normally, you press the top button to trigger the uh, the weapon form. And again. Once again, really, really nice. And we can try it with another uh, vice stamp. So as we have Rex here, we'll set that down.
So yeah, that works for all of the vice stamps. Uh, maybe all, I'm not actually tested, but we can test it with one of the specials. So let me grab one of the specials. Literally, it's down here. Then we get to look at this a little bit later on as well. So. So this one, the special we'll be using is the Thunder Gale Vice Stamp, which again, very, very nice. So yeah, more or less works with everything, which is quite nice given the fact the Demon's Driver does not work with uh and i hit the mic hit the camera i apologize on that one folks you can tell it's been a while since i actually started doing this so apologies the weirdly that's how i've got the colors scheme working again one second i think it's because of the screen so yeah like i said we'll do a henshin of it like we did with the demons and then we'll continue on with the next items which includes the thunder gale vice stamp so let's go okay folks here we are with the G uh Liebe driver uh i have to sort of kit bash it slightly because i couldn't find the other belt piece so hopefully it stays together long enough to do this bear in mind i cannot do her henchin yet i've been trying to do her henchin for a while but i've never been able to figure it out because it it's such a weird one because it's like when she sets it it goes into like sort of a that and then round and then i think it's like th this way it's hard to remember so anyway uh you can look up, look up the pop one on YouTube and other people have done it far better than me. So. Henshin. That was terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible uh, henching. We'll do one more. We'll do the. We'll add the kujaku to it. Actually, we'll do a kamaki. Let's do a different one. And the last one for the for this section. Yeah, can you tell I love doing the that action? It's so cool. So yeah, that was the Jean, the Libya driver, folks. So hope you enjoy. Okay, folks. And we're back with the final part of today's video. Today we're going to be, like I said today, this part we'll be looking at the three remaining items that I have not reviewed yet, which are the Rolling Vice Stamp, the Holy Life Vice Stamp, and the Thunder Gale Vice Stamp. Uh, we're not going to do any henchins with this one or this one in this particular part. I can do the Holy Life one because that's very easy to do. And this one I just need to have the belt on to be able to do the henchin properly. So once we sort of finish looking at these, then we'll jump to the henchins, okay? So this one is the item required to transform into Kamen Rider Jack Revise, which is uh, one of the best looking forms of the series. I'm not going to disagree with people on that one because everyone agrees on that. It's such a good form. Uh, 
suddenly goes down a little bit down in quality with the Thundergale form, but I still like the Thundergale form. It it works for me personally. So this one, uh, if you can see very clear, very briefly here, you can actually see some eyes here, which is quite nice. Got some paint, 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 paint. This is a roller, so you actually can roll this, which again, very cool. So if you go like this, does that. Like a stamp here, we have a scanner here, and we have a uh, trigger here with this figure. This, I've got big hands, so this doesn't really feel comfortable doing that, but it works. So it does the same sound. If you hold the button, very cool. Uh, you can scan a uh, fire stamp. So, for example, so if we do it like this. It's actually meant to do the sound. But let's try that one more time. So yeah, that's what that more or less does. Uh, like I said, we'll do a proper henshin when I've got the belt attached. So you turn it one, two, three. And you can do that as well. Which again, very cool. I do, so I do kind of like that. Let's set that one back. Next, let's have a look at the Holy Live by Stam, which is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, it's very wing based, and it actually does something really cool for the actual uh, twin driver, twin side driver. So you have two buttons. You have this button here and this button here. This button does that. It opens the wing, which is very cool. And then this button. Holy wing. It is actually the holy wing by stamp. I always call it the holy live because I'm weird like that. So this one, like I said, I can actually do without putting the belt on. <coughs> without standing up and changing the camera around, basically. So if you bring in the uh, twin side driver, let's move that for now. Yes, spider. So in order to do the henching for this one, we want to change this to, uh, actually, no, we don't want to change it yet. So I want to press do the uh, stamp. Then set, if we can set it properly. There we go. Then gun mode. Remove. Then this. And then. Which again, one of my favorite jingles. Like for the item based jingles anyway. And then. Do like Bring the charge. again really really cool like it has it looks beautiful like 
like this now, this is really, really nice. This is actually used as a blade weapon. But it looks more like what it's meant to be than when you just had like the bat set. Okay, so as again, I really need I need to get a better setup for this. <laughs> so that is the holy holy wing vice now. Uh, if used in the any other driver, it's more or less. Uh, if used in the demon's driver, you just get like extra. But in this one, that's not turned on, guy. Try that again. So as you can see, nothing really different there. Okay, and the last one, let me put that on the other side, is the Thunder Gale Vice Tank, which we saw briefly during the uh, Libya Driver practice there. This is the, uh, I think it's the last upgrade before the final form, which is gonna be interesting to see what that's all about. Um, again, I know I haven't really looked at the color scheme for like the holy holy wing one, which is very nice and uh, greenish blue and white and silver. This is red, blue, yellow, thundery, very cool. And I love the fact that this is a spinner. So if we very briefly tap the top uh, top button, you can actually get it to spin without making noise, which is very cool. What's interesting is compared to like every other vice stamp, which is just nothing, this actually has prongs and a flippy bit here, which no reason for what I can tell. There is actually, actually no reason to it, which is weird. But I'm guessing it might have something to do with a the final form if there's an item there maybe i don't know on the bottom one of the only ones that doesn't actually have a animal design obviously you got like rex t-rex kujaku cobra everything else fine this one i'm guessing it's close to like a thunder bug like a lightning bug or something like that but who knows so if we press the top button You get this nice shiny and this spins for a while. This will, you have to do this twice, like once before you actually do the henshin and when you set it into the belt, you have to press it again. So yeah, like I said, we'll do the henshins for this and the uh, rolling vice stamp. So let's go, shall we? Now, rolling by step. Engine. Okay. 
to a, an attack, shall we? Very cool, very cool. Okay. Thunder Gale attack. It's one of those things. Okay. Three, two, one. Thunder Gale time. Hit you. So cool. That is so cool. Do a hint and tuck. Yeah, I kind of bugged out there a little bit with the uh, turning, but that is the full selection, folks. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. I know this is a bit of a long video, but I kind of wanted to get through all of this very quickly. Uh, we are going into the end game in terms of revise, so the final form will be out soon. And that's actually going to be really cool. And in terms of uh, other projects I'm going to do, uh, we're actually going to be buying the uh, Don Brothers uh, Mecha when that comes out. So we'll actually put all that together on a video be really cool and also i'm going to be doing some model building very soon as well so keep an eye out for that folks thank you very much for watching uh, i'm going to try and get back to a re reasonable schedule but if i don't post up anything on youtube please follow me on uh, twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the carmen gentleman i stream more or less every day mainly currently elden ring but we also do carbon rider related stuff as well or at least going back to doing that sort of stuff and mainly RPGs and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't want to follow me on there, for, I am on Twitter at, for, at, at Carbon Gentleman. Uh, it'll be the same icon as my uh, YouTube. So please follow me on that uh, if you want to catch any updates from me on that. So until next time, folks, thank you very much for watching. I'm about to fall over, and I'll see you guys later on. Till then, take care. Bye for now. Hey ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I know we just finished the video, but I thought I'd throw in a uh, very quick last minute addition to it, which is the Holy Wing with the belt actually equipped and we can stand up and do the, the stuff. So, we're just going to do a very quick one, okay? Hinchin'!